Good morning. I'm super tired this morning, but I just rinsed my hair um, and I'm about to do my curly hair uh, routine. So I'll show you that. Um, but today I have my acting lesson with my coach and then I have to drive home. My sleep brain is still on right now. Um, yeah, so I'm doing my hair, but I'm a lesson. Then I'm going home, and then tomorrow I'm doing hair again, which is fun. Um, that was very, that was, I am actually excited to do it, and it is fun. Even though I said it with no emotion, I'm just tired. Um, but let's just do my hair, because now it's just dragging out. Um, but my hair, I rinsed it with water and conditioner upside down because I washed it last night, but I just did water and conditioner today, rinsed it out all upside down, and then immediately put this on. I scrunched it upside down a little bit and then put the turban on, and now I'm going to do the products. So let's go. So this is very easy. I use three products. First, I use this, which was in a different bottle, but the bottle broke. So I had to replace it, um, but it is by Waves, I think. I don't know. I am blanking on the brand right now, but it's in a little, what? A yellow bottle with like a black swirl to represent a curl, you know? Um, but I will like post a picture of it or tag it down below. You will see it somehow. Then I use this Curl Smith Hold Me Softly Style Balm, which is very hydrating, or it's like lightweight. That's what I meant to say, it's lightweight. Um, and it is hydrating because there's oil in it and stuff, aloe. Um, it's actually good stuff. I like these things. I don't know, I love this stuff. And it's cruelty free and vegan, so plus plus. Uh, but it's light hold, which is super important for my hair because the hair itself is fine. Um, so I can't use anything that's too heavy. Then I use this dream coat for curly hair by Color Wow. Spray that all over at the end. And I like scrunch my hair throughout. Now I take a microfiber towel and scrunch it with that. All right, and now I just let that dry. I always let it air dry because I feel like it air dries pretty nice. Um, but it takes a while. It stays wet for a while. So that's it. That's my curly hair uh, routine. And then obviously you'll see it when it's dry. It looks better once it's dry, but that's pretty much it. Sometimes there's good days, sometimes there's bad days. We'll find out once it's dry. So now we're going to um, do my makeup. And put my contacts in. <laughs> I'm going to put my contacts in, then I'm going to do my makeup. Oh, maybe chat a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. This is actually not the same makeup that I did last time. Where did my coffee go? Oh, I need that. You also caught me at the beginning of this vlog very tired. I don't wake up that tired often, but... um, Adina and I went to see... House of Gucci last night. So good. We didn't get home until, because it was a 9.30 show. The movie ended at like 12.30. Because the movie didn't start until like 25 minutes later. Um, but, yeah, we didn't get home until like 1. Yeah, 
like one, I think. Just a tank top, some black flare pants and converse, and that's it. I am on my way back to my parents' house. I had my lesson. I was gonna like show me rehearsing for my lesson, but I was like running out of time and I had to just pack my car up for coming back to New Jersey so I did not get to do that um, but anyway I'm on my way home now and like back to my parents house I mean same thing I still call it home I don't know how to like I feel like it's always gonna be home you know but I was thinking about things to talk about and I wanted to talk about House of Gucci because I saw it last night and I love movies. I act, so I just love watching actors perform in any way and whatever they're in or whatever. Um, but movies especially, I love going to the movie theaters. I love the atmosphere of it. I love the experience that it gives you. So I went there yesterday and saw House of Gucci. So it was very good. This lighting is horrible. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I talk like that. <laughs> I like randomly go into that weird accent. It's not even like any real accent. Um, I've done it in a couple videos so far. So if you watch my videos, yep, I do that. <laughs> um, anyway, so House of Gucci. Go see it, first of all. I love even recommending movies that I really enjoy, and that's definitely one that I would recommend. It was interesting to really see the whole kind of story play out of what happened. And I didn't know any of this before I even saw the trailer or heard about the movie. Um, but I just love designers. You know, I love making it a goal one day to be able to afford a bunch of designer products or just even like looking at fashion in general. I think it's a beautiful thing. Um, they even show a couple fashion shows in the movie. Obviously, you know, filmed for the movie and not real fashion shows, but just that atmosphere and seeing the different designs walking down, like, the runway on models, it's, I don't know, I love it. I think it's so cool. And so when I saw that there was going to be a movie about Gucci, I was like, cool, um, let's watch it. And I like Lady Gaga, and she's, like, very much proving herself as an actress, which is so awesome. And yeah, watching the whole transition of everything that happened, basically, if you don't know, because I didn't know, um, but it's a true story, so it doesn't necessarily spoil anything, but Pat Patricia, Patricia, uh, Reggiani or whatever, I don't know. It was the, um, the son of one of the main Gucci guys, um, his wife. So uh, she had gotten him killed. And like I said, this is a true story. She just got out of jail for it. And it was it's like a whole thing all over social media right now. So if you don't know, then I mean, it's on social media everywhere. So anyway, um, she was in jail for like a long time. And but it's so cool to see how they met and the way they, you know, fell in love and 
their storyline together as a couple up until that point where she did have him killed and why she had him killed and not saying that not saying that it was an excuse um but just for real like the reason why she felt the need to do that um it was very interesting maybe this part is a spoiler i'm gonna try to be pretty vague but it might be a spoiler, so if you don't want to be potentially spoiled, just fast forward. We were kind of like, did she ever really love him? Or, or no, 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 it was, was she, I don't think she was always after the money or something. And I was like, I think she was, because I feel like Lady Gaga did this very well. And this is the part that I wanted to talk about. She had kind of made this facial expression when, you know, they had first met and he said who he was, um, because she had asked him who, what his name was. And so by looking at him, she didn't know, but when she heard Gucci as the last name, her, there was like a slight to, and this is what I like to watch as an actress is to see how other actors and actresses do these kinds of things but there was like a slight change in her eyes when she heard his name and she kind of like pulled her head back a little bit and her eyes just like switched where you're like she there's she has thoughts in her mind like she knows that name I was just watching and at first I was like you know I saw the shift in her expression and I was like, she knows. But then she played it off really well, where I was like, but does she know who he is? You could see in that moment that, by knowing what the ending was, you could see in that moment how evil she really is. Because she was after the money always. But she played it off so well that was so manipulative that at one point you almost feel bad for her too but also at the same time she's just so evil that you hate her and I love movies that make you feel like that where you're like completely invested in the character completely invested in the storyline and the movie was like two and a half hours long it was a long movie that's a decent amount of time and it was just engaging the whole time because they showed so much of the story like every piece mattered and it didn't feel rushed or too drawn out because every moment of their story together mattered to get to, to get them to the point where they ended up and to give them the time of character development and it was just I feel like it was done well. And the cast was just great. You have Lady Gaga, Adam Driver, Jared Leto. So yeah, great film. Totally recommend. And you guys should go watch it. And I'm probably also going to say peace out now. Because I still got a ways to go for my drive. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow uh what am i doing tomorrow i'm working I'm doing some hair tomorrow back at my old salon anyway i'm gonna go i'm gonna go finish my drive and continue listening to a podcast maybe listen to a couple tunes and then i will talk to you tomorrow Hopefully I can show you some things at work and we'll go from there. But have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.